All right, ladies and gentlemen, today here on the channel, I'm gonna be telling you the story of the THR Lost GoPro. So this whole entire story starts at the Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio during the Joker's Jackpot in the King's Royal Weekend in 2024. This was the first time in my entire career that we were taking our own equipment to the Big E. I had ran there one time before with Shark Racing in 2023 with the Outlaws. But yeah, this was the first time I was taking my own stuff and honestly I felt like that was a pretty big deal because I mean Eldora is Eldora and I would say it's probably one of the more intimidating tracks in the country. So going there, our goal as a team was just to put together the best week possible that we could try to get better every single time we hit the track and really just try to make it into the shows and run as well as possible and trust me we knew that was going to be tough there was going to be a lot of really really good cars and Eldora is not necessarily just an easy racetrack so like I've been doing for the past eight years I put cameras all throughout the car so you guys could ride along with me and see what it's like to wheel the 18t around the Eldora Speedway so we made it through the first night we made it through the second night and then night number three I just just felt like as a team we picked up you know we qualified a little bit better did a little better in the heat race and I felt you know honestly the best I had felt all weekend in the B main event but I had to start kind of deep so I needed to pass some cars and the track every night was getting progressively slicker so for this B like you could run the very bottom or you could put your right rear on the wall and run any lane in between and we really made our car better in the slick which is so tough to do there at Eldora you got to have grip you got to be stuck so anyway started kind of towards the back and passed a car or two at the start and just felt like I had some good positive momentum. I just felt like I could actually race around some of the guys I was racing with. And this is where things went wrong. This is, this is where I lost the GoPro. And you guys have probably seen the video, so I don't need to explain much. But anyway, I kind of had a run on the car in front of me. I had a car on my inside and I was running the top the car in front of me had kind of just ran the middle, so they were kind of trapped in the slick, and I just took my big run that I had off of turn four, and I just didn't put my car in the right spot, and I ended up causing a crash between me and the car in front of me. We both flipped. <laughs> So now in this situation, we have active debris on the track that is gonna be seen by the race officials and they are gonna be communicating with us drivers over the race receiver. That is correct, you heard me right. This little device is a one-way communication system for the officials, the flag man. Anyone with the headset on, they can talk right into the driver's ear so that helps you know speed up the show and help things run more efficiently. And as the race receiver brand has expanded, they've also created other products such as ear protection for at the dirt races and in-car flagging systems. They're just always trying to find things that will help make what we do safer and better. So to learn more about them, I put a link at the top of the description to racesiever.com. That will take you directly to each of their products and you can see what they have to offer. Thanks to Racesiever, they've been an awesome partner. Now it's time to see what happens next with our GoPro. And one thing to note, it was crazy how we flipped. It's like our car is perfectly tangled like a puzzle almost and we just like flipped together into the wall. Very violent crash, very thankful that uh, Tanner Thorson was okay and that I was okay and you know our cars did their jobs and, abs and absorbed the impact. I was looking at my race car and it definitely didn't look as beautiful as, as it's sitting here in my shop right now. So we had that, it was a huge impact but at the end of the night I started realizing as I was just you know going through everything and taking cameras off the car because we were stripping it down to a bare frame I was like oh shoot like one of my cameras didn't make it back to the pits. And I had that camera mounted right here facing backwards on the back of the cage. And it was literally just such a violent wreck that it just ripped the camera off the car. Well, since we were down in turn one and two and we were so close to the fence, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda was like, man, I think, and since no one retrieved it, like usually if it would've been on the track, someone would've seen it just because it's technically debris. Um, and no one brought it back to me. So I'm like, that thing probably landed in the grandstands and it's gone for sure. And in saying that, like, I don't blame any fan. Like I figured someone probably took it and ran, right? Like if it lands in their lap, that thing's now basically a souvenir. It's obviously destroyed as well. It, the only thing that's good is the footage on it. And it's 2024, so don't wanna sound like I didn't have faith in humanity, but I'm like, man, that thing probably left the facility the second someone caught it. So I'm probably not getting it back. So really all I knew what to do was like, hey, make it public. So I posted 
it on my social page because I, I mainly just wanted the camera back for the footage. I knew that if it flew off the car, it probably wasn't in very good shape. Of course, the post drew a bunch of attention and the whole next day on the King's Royal finale from crew members, fans, my other competitors, they were all asking like, hey, did you ever get that back? What happened to it? And I'm like, I haven't. I don't know where it's at. It's gone. I even I even went to turn one and two. There's a section between the track and the actual grandstands. It's like this grassy section. It's about 20 feet-ish wide, maybe. I walked the whole section behind the track, and then I even went into the grandstands a little bit, looked and see if it just landed somewhere and it was stuck. Like I said, I put the good word out. I talked to people. Other people went and looked, and like nobody had any sign of this camera. So like I said in my head, I thought it was gone. Now this is when something remarkable happened. We ran that night, we had our new car, you know, things didn't go good so our night ended early. And then right after the checkered flag for $175,000, I'm still standing on top of the trailer just watching the ending. And an official rolled by and actually handed my camera guy, Matt, the GoPro and he said, hey, I, I, like we've been meaning to return this. I think this is yours. And not gonna lie, in my head, like at this point, I was just kind of feeling disappointed because of just how our week ended. We tore up some equipment, like that final night didn't go great. And so I'm watching the A-Main event, you know, just wishing I was out there as guys are taking the checkered. And when I looked down as Matt was on the ground, I, like I said, I'm still on top of the trailer. He holds the GoPro up to me and said, Tanner, we got the camera. And at this moment, like I'm still so disappointed. I don't even know what he's talking about for a second. Like nothing registered in my head because I was just still kind of like, man this just really like how this whole went really sucked so I had to like take a double take and I look at him he's like we know we got the camera Tanner so I, I run down the tray or I run down the ladder of the trailer you know get down there to him he walks in and I meet him and here's kind of the moment of checking out what was left of my GoPro I'm not gonna be like that then yeah wow look at that holy heck totally smashed oh yeah no it's been drug around or ran over so, are you able to send that one in? No. I mean, no. Come on. I don't know. Are I'd, we in a program? Don't we, we I mean, maybe. They don't make nines anymore. This is a Hero 9. This is my reliable. But yeah, survive. No one took it. I feel bad. I, I'm not going to lie. I just bl believe someone had this thing sitting in their bedroom. Blame. But yeah, man, we found it. We'll see what the footage looks like. So against all odds, we did get my camera back. And I do apologize. I really thought someone, I don't want to say the word stole, but I really thought someone took it, but I was completely wrong. And the officials at Eldora, they did a good job. They were able to return it to me, but we weren't out of the woods yet. We had to see if we could recover the footage on the SD card. It's so muddy. The battery's like stuck in there. But yeah, this battery's stuck. I mean, not that it really matters. Probably just throw it away. There it is. That's the SD card. We're about to find out if it works. I actually am not the, I'm not the most confident. I don't know, we'll, we'll see. It says it popped up, let's see. Oh gosh. Okay, so the card, this is footage from the race. So it does, well, we'll see if this isn't the right file, but uh, it's, yeah, it's probably right here. Okay, so it did definitely caught it. Tang. So that's crazy. And then it got ran over by Oh, the it truck. got ran over by the push truck. That's what destroyed it. It was still recording. Yeah, I just recorded for 10 more minutes. Oh. Dude. It's like bugging out. It's bugging out from something. So that's pretty nuts. A camera that looks like this destroyed. It's junk going in the go going in the GoPro graveyard. Still did its job and uh, it got the footage. It flew off the car. It got ran over. It had a tough ending to its life. Pretty sad ordeal. But the good news is we got the footage. It survived and we have the footage to prove that it all happened.